Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, thank you very much uh, for being an electrica. I really appreciate that. Now, I have got these two devices here, which I want us to look at and explain, as you've seen on the title. Okay. Now, I have a cyclic timer and I have an on delay, off delay timer. All right. Now, let us look at uh, this cyclic timer first. Okay. Now, a cyclic timer uh, is a type of timer that uh, allows a continuous cycle of on and off uh, periods. Okay, so that means that this type of device can be set to turn on and off uh, regular intervals. Okay, uh, to turn on and off at a regular intervals. Right. Uh, that means that. Uh, it will be repeating the cycle uh, as long as it's on, repeating the cycle uh, indefinitely, right? Now, I can give you some example of uh, this stuff here. Now, take an example of uh, uh, traffic lights, okay? Now, traffic lights works in a sequence uh, of turning green, uh, turning yellow, and turning uh, red, all right? Now, there might be, uh, let's say, uh, you've set around 30 minutes, uh, depending on the, on the traffic, but you've set around 30 minutes. So the system turns green, maybe after 10 minutes or 30 minutes, it turns amber, or probably after 30 minutes, it turns red. All right? So uh, the timer will control the system uh, in that regard as long as it stays on okay now uh so if you have any kind of application uh where repetitive uh sequence is required now this is uh the timer to go for okay now on the other hand uh we have got um, on delay uh off delay timer now this type of timer is used to control on and off periods you know of a device Okay, so this can most likely uh, more it is used in uh, industrial uh, applications, you know, uh, controlling, you know, uh, startups and shutdowns of, you know, machines. Okay, but also you can also still uh, apply it in this scenario. We can also look at in the lighting system right? because this uh timer here it has got a wide range of hours uh if you look at the dial it will work from three seconds way to fat hours and you definitely know that uh we have got 24 uh, hours in a day in a whole day all right so meaning if you have uh any system or lights that you want to turn on and off in a 24 hour for instance if you want the light to turn on uh maybe uh 7 uh, p.m and then turn off at 7 a.m so this one also can you know uh, work perfectly all right so i want us to demonstrate this kind of uh setting and we see how uh it can be you know uh applied all right now we have a, we have a demonstration here so we have a, a circuit here for for cyclic timer and you have a circuit here for on delay uh, off delay timer all right now let us see so we have a contactor here which are acting as uh, our load okay now i'm going to begin with uh, uh, on delay off delay timer now let me just put it on uh, let me say uh around 15 seconds okay so let's say we are at 15 seconds now if i switch on this you see that uh because it's an it's an only mode all right so this means that uh the moment you switch on uh this timer here it will delay for the set time before it actually apply a signal to whatever load you've connected okay so we look at here 
as it counts. So you switch it on and then it starts to delay. It counts before it supplies. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, uh, that's on delay uh, for you. Now, we can go ahead and look at uh, what the off delay, uh, you know, works. Because in this setting, uh, you have got two contacts here. So, you have got, uh, on this time, I have got 15, which is closed to 16 and open to 18. All right. Now, this is what happened. So, if we use uh, 16, it means that uh, the signal will be sent instantly and then the timer starts counting to switch off the signal. All right. So let us see how that. Okay. Now, if I switch on uh, this, you realize that uh, our load here will energize instantly. And now the timer will start counting the delayed set time for it now to switch off that circuit. Okay, so that is an on delay off delay timer for you now. Let us uh, look at, at uh, this uh, cyclic timer and we see how uh, you can apply it, okay? So the cyclic timer will switch the circuit on and off and it will not stop until you stop until you stop it okay so the cycle will goes will go on and on and on all right so the the time is equal from when it switches on and when it switches off okay so if we look at this dial here we have uh, one second ten second one minute ten minutes uh, one hour and ten hours so it depends on how you want to program your your system and how you want to put your intervals. Uh, all right. So that's why we have two knobs here. One to set the time and the other one is for multiplying factor. Okay. So multiplying factor can really help you in in any case. For instance, if you have set your time to ten to ten hours, but actually you want five hours, so you can use zero point five of ten to get five. That's a multiplying factor. So that's how uh, that's how all the the whole thing works. Okay. All right. So uh, I think you have uh, understood uh, this simple application. So next time, uh, if you have a circuit, uh, you know, you're wondering which kind of timer uh, to use, you can still go ahead and choose uh, between the cyclic timer and uh, the only of the timer, depending on what kind of uh, way you want to apply it, right? So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to like and share. Until next time, I'm out.